I'm a computational biologist and I'm sometimes a slightly unusual computational biologist. I was always fascinated by many different things and how they connect together. And I wanted to find ways with math and computation to help us understand cells. Many people have to choose. They either do computational science or they do science in the wet lab where they run experiments. I actually had a lab that did both of these things. We developed new lab technologies, we developed new algorithms, and then we applied them to a host of biological systems. Many people choose just one particular biological system to work on, but I kind of wanted to understand how all cells work. So I worked on a large diversity of biological systems, both in, in human and in other organisms, in order to really get this bigger picture. I found that often not choosing is the best choice. It is work of many, many scientists in many groups, my own work, my work in collaboration with many others, the Human Cell Atlas, which is an initiative of more than 2,500 scientists from all over the globe. That kind of science, this team science, this collaborative science, this interdisciplinary science, being recognized by the award is deeply meaningful to me. I think it's good to have a lot of dreams, and that's what I do today trying to use all of this knowledge and these approaches in order to use them to develop new medicines for patients. Trust in yourself. You have everything inside you. You have the passion, you have the ideas, and you have the commitment to do something good for others. And if you go with those things, you can never go wrong. Awards are about recognition, and this award is very deep in recognizing things that are often not as well recognized. Women in science are still under-recognized compared to men. For my specific award, it recognizes a field, computational biology, that has historically not really been in the mainstream. I have extraordinarily fortunate in my career, and part of it is actually generational. I think the generation of women who came right before my generation have done extraordinary work on our behalf. And we should first be filled with gratitude. Second, we shouldn't take it for granted because things that you have today could be taken tomorrow. And third, we should pay it forward. We should identify those places where we can do better because everyone deserves a chance.